Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can turn a broken old tool battery into some super useful 18650 cells. Before we dive in though, let's talk safety real quick. When you're taking apart old lithium ion batteries, you've got to be super careful to not short or damage them. Always have a fireproof container nearby with some sand or dirt in it. If a cell gets hot, starts hissing or sizzling, toss it in there right away and then vacate the area. And with that, let's get started. First thing we need to do is get rid of these little black seals that cover up the screws. You can either drill them out or just screw a screw into them and pull them out. Once those are out, we've got access to these T10 torque screws. You can take them out uh, with a drill or just use a screwdriver, whatever works. After that, the main panel should pop off. If it doesn't, it means there might be some corrosion inside, so be careful when prying them open. Now we've got the 18650s visible, and we really want to be careful not to nick or damage their plastic wrap. So just be careful as you take out any screws or parts from the inside. Sometimes old batteries can have some corroded cells in them, but in this case we got two really nice packs. Next up we want to pull off the cardboard covering the metal tabs, and once that's off it should look something like this. One thing though, this piece of cardboard right here that's separating these two leads, leave that in place. These leads are of opposite polarity and without that barrier they'd be super easy to short out. Also worth mentioning, we humans are pretty bad conductors and can touch both leads on these packs without anything bad happening, but that's definitely not the case for metal. Next we want to remove the PCB so we have better access to the batteries. To do that, just cut through all the wires that are soldered to the battery pack. Now with that removed, we can start removing the nickel tabs holding the cells together. Under the coating of these 18650s is the negative side of the battery, so on this side is okay if the plastic gets a bit nicked. That is not the case for the positive side though, you need to be really careful not to cause a short here. We can now start by prying up any big tabs and slowly wiggling them back and forth until the spot welds give out. There are no large tabs, which is the case for most of the battery. I found you can wedge something thin, like a pocket knife, between the tab and the cell, just enough to lift a little bit. Then grab it with pliers and slowly wiggle it back and forth until it breaks free. The biggest thing here is take your time. We don't want to puncture, crush, or tear the batteries at all, as this could lead to a thermal runaway. Once you have the tabs off both ends, you can push the batteries out. They're usually in there pretty tight and might need some pushing back and forth to get loose. You might also need to wiggle them a bit, but just be careful. And yeah, once they're out, I like to put them in this little cardboard holder I made, just so I can keep all the 18650 separated and safe. Not super necessary, but you really don't want to risk them shorting out or getting damaged, since again, that could lead to thermal runaway. Here are a few examples of batteries I wouldn't recommend using. This one has some light burn marks near the positive end. This next one's got part of the casing cracked off and the inner metal is starting to rust. And this last one has some corrosion and damage to the plastic wrap. Once you have all your good looking cells, it's time to move on to testing. A healthy cell should read somewhere between 3 and 4.2 volts. Anything under 3 volts is pretty much a lost cause. And sometimes you'll see cells that just read 0, like this one here. After filtering out all the dead ones, we can charge up the good ones using an appropriate lithium ion charger. The first charge on reused batteries can be sketchy, so keep an eye on them during this time. Once they're all charged up, I like to test them under load. For that, I just use a voltmeter and test the voltage through a small resistor, around 50 ohms. If the voltage barely drops compared to the unloaded reading, that's a solid cell and it's good to go. If it drops by a few volts or 
drops down to zero, and that's a bad battery and should not be used. And yeah, now you've got some good, healthy 18650s ready to use for whatever project you've got in mind. Hope you guys liked the video and maybe learned something new along the way. If you've got any questions or anything you're unsure about, feel free to ask down in the comments. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Flame out.